I'm testing candy versus real life food and level one is sushi. And I'm gonna be recreating a bunch of foods. Oh, <laughs> that is the weirdest combo. I can't tell which one wins. And later I'm going head to head against Gordon Ramsay and trying to make a candy beef Wellington. Hi, can I have a small fry please? Thank you. Let's get building. First, we need to turn the yellow candy into a potato. To make our french fries, I'm just stretching out the taffy like this. And for the ketchup, I have a plan up my sleeve. So far, it's going good, but now we need to make a lot more. This is our last french fry. Now I'm gonna melt down gummy bears to make ketchup. And while those are melting, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of chocolate to the french fries to make it look brown. Time to pour in our molten ketchup. We have candy and real french fries. Let's start with the real ones. McDonald's, best french fry, by the way. Salt, crispy ketchup, eight out of 11 right there. But now onto the candy. Right off the bat, they're a little limp. Let's put it in our ketchup. Our ketchup is a little sticky. Oh, a ketchup is sticking to my teeth. This does not have any resemblance to a french fry. This is a two out of 13. Ah, somebody call the dentist. Get this out of here. Oh, it went in the pool. Our next food is spaghetti and meatballs. How are you gonna recreate spaghetti and meatballs? With candy spaghetti! Yeah! This is gonna be fairly straightforward. Spaghetti on the plate. Mm, that actually smells good. And now for the meatballs, we're using our meat colored candy. Now we just have to make two balls. This is chocolate flavored. This is ground beef flavored. This is my favorite part. Be sure to comment ball gang if you love candy balls too. Boom. Now it's time for the taste test. I don't know why, but they gave me chopsticks to eat this. Let's get some spaghetti here. Real life. Tastes like an Italian classic. Now it's on to the candy. I keep a very strict testing profile, so we're gonna do the bite the exact same way. Put some spaghetti on our ball. This one's for you, Super Mario. Mmm! Whoa! I'm getting so many flavors in my mouth right now, I can't even think straight. The way the sour pairs with the chocolate, truly exquisite and divine. No question. Candy wins this round. This is a red apple and this is red candy. You know what we're doing next. If you could comment how many red candies I just unwrapped, I'll heart your comment. And now we need to form the candy into my favorite shape, a ball. Comment below ball gang if you're a fan of giant balls too. And now that we have our apple shape, I'm gonna poke a hole in the top. But if you notice, there's a little bit of green on this one. So let's add some green candy. Poking it right down in there. And here's the candy apple. The bottoms look the same, the tops look the same. And now the last step is to add a chocolate candy stem. And now we have a real and candy apple. I'll be honest with you, if I was blind, I don't think I could tell them apart. You know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So I brought a real life doctor. Apple? Apple? You want apple? Apple? apple. Guys, I think he loves it. Let's start with the real. Mmm. Well, there goes my chances of being a doctor. I give this four YouTuber apologies out of five. Make it three. That was a seed. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely zero crunch. It tastes like cherry, not even apple. This one is six YouTuber apologies out of 12. On to our next food. Our next food is pizza. I'm gonna go for yellow for the crust and red for the sauce, but I have a plan in mind for the cheese. Now these are actually super easy to combine because the sun is working like a natural pizza oven. It feels like a pizza oven out here. Let's make the crust. Boom. Someone order a Tesla logo pizza. Okay, look at this pizza slice. Now it's time to add our sauce. For the sauce, we're gonna have to make it really thin because we're adding our surprise cheese on top. Let's add it. Boom. And now it's time for our secret cheese. We're using marshmallow fluff. This is gonna give us the best candy cheese pull. I already know this is gonna be such a mess. <laughs> Oh man, dude, let's, go. oh, this is actually working good. I'm just trying to spread this marshmallow out so it looks like our cheese. This looks like a legit pizza slice. The only thing is, it's made 100% out of candy. Okay, let's make sure we're getting all the way to the edge. And now, here is our 100% candy pizza. Dude, this is literally the stickiest thing we've ever made. Let's start with our real pizza. Visually, they're pretty similar. We got crust, sauce, cheese, crust, sauce, cheese. Let's go for a taste test of the real thing. One bite. It's hard to beat a good slice, man. Here we go. <laughs> it's a little bit more saggy. Oh. Oh. I don't know what the marshmallow is doing. I thought it would be a good cheese pull, but it's kind of just like a cheese mess. This will be the ultimate test. Oh. Oh. 
I'm very confused right now. Flavor was good. Cheese pull was non-existent. It was more like a glue pull. Can't beat the classic of the real pizza. Real pizza takes this one. Let's just hope it goes better later when we do the beef wellington. And now it's time for us to eat our vegetables. Kind of. I'm gonna start by squeezing down these green candies to turn them into leaves. Okay, there's our first lettuce leaf. Our lettuce leaves are done and I'm super happy because look at the consistency. They act like real leaves. But just like normal salads, we're gonna throw a little bit of variety in our lettuce by chopping up some sour strips. All right, let's cut them up. Whoa. We're gonna go like this. This is our other type of lettuce. Now let's combine our lettuce all together. Dude, that actually looks like a salad. And now that our lettuce is done, you might be noticing, Nick, we're missing something. And we're using Skittles for our toppings. Let's go. And now we have real and candy salad. Time for the taste test. Let's try our real salad. Lettuce plus toppings. Eat your greens, kids. Tastes like vegetables. Let's get to the candy salad. We gotta get a tomato here. This little dog doesn't wanna get picked up. There we go. Ah, okay. And now candy salad. Whoa. I didn't know salad could taste this good. The toppings and the lettuces are mixing. These little dogs added so much flavor. Candy is the clear winner. And speaking of dogs, the next food we're recreating is a hot dog, a glizzy. This is what we're making. Let's get building. I got all sorts of stuff. I had to dig in my box here to find yellow. We're gonna use that for our bun. See, that looks like a similar color. That's what we're gonna shoot for. This box may look unorganized, but it's more organized than your room. Time to form these into a bun. <laughs> well, we're waiting for our bun to cook up in the oven. It's time to make our glizzy. I want meat. Ugh. Now the hardest part with these is gonna be forming it into glizzy shape. These kind of gummies are historic for not combining well. As you can see, they don't really want to squish together, but I'm a candy expert, so I'm gonna make them squish together. Get it together! Just gotta think about the meat at the hot dog factory. This is how they do it. If we can break it up a little bit, it'll help it stick together better. Look at that, that looks like meat. Now that our glizzy is somewhat coming together, let's move back to the bun situation. Do a little bit like that. And now this is our hot dog bun. Now we add the glizzy to the bun. Look at that, come on, you cannot tell me that that does not look like a hot dog. Right now we have our dog and bun, but what hot dog is complete without condiments? We're gonna use this Laffy Taffy and roll it out to look like mustard. Boom, that looks good to me. Now, let's add our liquid. Oh yeah. That's ketchup right there. Here we have a candy and real hot dog. Let's put them to the test. Let's start with the real life hot dog. Tastes exactly like I would expect. Nothing crazy there. This thing's got some weight to it. Oh, whoa. So many flavors in my mouth. Mustard, ketchup, dog, bun. Working together to give me a cavity. Hands down, candy hot dog win. This thing is phenomenal. I don't know what they put in this. Next is the classic American breakfast, eggs and bacon. Right now I'm just gonna try to match the shape of the egg with the vanilla candy. Let's crack our candy egg. Uh. Now that we have the shape down, it's time to add the yolk. And now I'm just gonna shape this lemon candy to look like that. And there's our egg yolk. And now our last step is bacon. I found this at the store. Bacon. And I was thinking to myself, what does gummy bacon taste like? Normally I make the candy myself, but I was super curious about this. Oh, look at that. And there's our candy bacon. Let's get to tasting. Let's start with our real egg. Real life. Tastes like Saturday morning. That's why I'm proud to be an American. I give that one nine Humpty Dumpties out of 10. Now it's on to the candy one. I have high hopes for this. Oh, it cuts pretty easily. That's a good sign. Piece of bacon in here. Whoa, super sweet, super good. The vanilla lemon egg, the fruity bacon. I give this 10 Humpty Dumpties out of 10. I just drove an hour and a half to the Foxwoods Casino to get a beef wellington from Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. We've acquired the wellington. Let's go make one out of candy. If you don't know, over two years ago, Gordon Ramsay called me a donut. What are you doing? You can drive your donut. So this is my ultimate revenge is I'm gonna make a better beef wellington than Gordon Ramsay. Actually, no, not a beef wellington, a candy wellington. Right now I'm gonna combine the different colors and then we'll be ready for our next step. This crust is a little darker than our white candy, so I'm gonna add a little orange to it. Now that we have our three colors, I'm gonna start by squishing down the vanilla for our crust. We can put all the other candy colors in it. That way we'll be able to roll it up. Now we're gonna put our steak into the puff pastry. Now let's roll it so we get it all uniform. It's time to cut it open. I'm so nervous right now. Now for the grand reveal. Let's go, that looks so good. You can't tell me that doesn't look exactly like it. If I were Gordon Ramsay, I would be worried right now. And now for the sauce, I melted down some Jolly Rancher. Put a nice layer of sauce down. 
And that is a candy beef Wellington. Those look identical, let's go. And now it's time for the fanciest taste test in Nick T Guy history. Let's start with Gordon's. I have to be honest. I know why you're such a famous chef now, but that tastes like poverty. <laughs> it's so good, actually. I'm kind of worried. His meat is so tender. His pastry is flaky. Onto the candy one, I guess. Not as tender as Gordon's. Gordon Ramsay, call me. Mm. Whoa, the flavors though, wait a minute. Well, Candy Wellington is actually really good. The different flavor layers are working very well with our sauce. You could tell it was masterly crafted. I give the real one five Gordons out of five, and I give this one five lamb sauces out of five. It's your job to decide which one wins in the comments. Like and subscribe so we can pass Gordon Ramsay and subscribers.